Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I'm going to be doing a review of a restaurant in Chiang Mai. It's not completely vegan, but they've got a lot of vegan options. And when you look for it on Happy Cow, it's called Cat House, but it also comes under the name Cat Shack. And there's two locations, but I will put a link down below for the location of the one that we're going to now. So I'm going to go inside, show you around a little bit, order some food, and then show you the food and give a full comprehensive review on this place. So here's the outside location. I think it's really nice. It's got these plants everywhere. And then you see it's called the Cat House up there, at least. Nice colourful chairs. There's a seating area over here, so you can sit near the roadside if you want to. And they've got all their menus here, all day breakfast, lunch and dinner over here. Touch of Mexican food, spaghetti salad, all different types of drinks, lassies, kombucha cocktails. Oh wow, I really like this bit of artwork on the side as well. That's really cool, it looks like it's carved out of wood and they've got another one over there. And then yeah, this is the main seating area. And I think it looks very, very nice in here, very, very colourful, aesthetically okay. pleasing. I'm really sorry. And okay. Okay. here, you can see they've got all different brownies. I don't know if these are all vegan, who knows, and like granola bars and chocolate, which I think is vegan if I remember correctly. Oh, vegan banana chocolate cake is there. Carrot cake, that looks like. Don't know if that is vegan. And then they've got things like these fruit bound chia chews, they've got water, natural mosquito spray, vegan oat cookies, a variety of different things there. And then drink wise, yeah, all these different types of drinks, these kombuchas. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good in here. What do you reckon? Yes. Yeah, good. you're looking forward to trying the food? Yes. Especially because yeah. you told me last night it was really good. Yeah, because I tried it recently, but yeah, we didn't do a review on it, but she really needs to do a review together. So we're going to get ordering and see what the food is like. And for anyone that would like to use the internet here, whether for work or just for pleasure, here is the download speed, 6.76 megabytes per second, which is an okay download speed good for watching youtube videos doing instagram and all these other different things but the upload speed is 0.90 megabytes per second so if you're someone like me who's making youtube videos when i upload them is no good for that type of thing has arrived and I think it looks really nice. What do you think about the presentation? Yeah, I like the colors. It looks very colorful. Yeah, and I've got one of the specials that's on the menu at the moment. So this is not all of the time. It looks like a pad thai to me. Yeah, on a tortilla. Really, really looks like a pad thai. So it's got the noodles, peanuts, tofu in there. And that's a Vietnamese tostada, which has tostada. chickpeas in flour tortilla with sprouts, peanut, cilantro, and pickled radish and tofu. And then what have you got here? We've got two of these. Burmese tea leaf salad. And from what it looks like, a lot of cabbage, carrots, a um, bunch of mixed vegetables with like a peanut sauce. Yeah. 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 And some black rice. And then what we've got here, these burritos, which we did show you a place earlier, but I'll give you another one. It's a burrito with black rice salsa, no cheese because it's the vegan one. So you just say vegan uh, and then we'll just remove the cheese. And it's in a homemade tortilla and covered in lentil curry served with salad. And when looking at it, it seems there's no oil added to it because we prefer yeah. to have oil free food. The Burmese chili salad has got oil on, but it doesn't look like it's bit. absolutely drenched in it, unlike a lot of places. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it looks good, but obviously we need to try it. So yeah, if you you want to try yeah and then yeah and I will put the prices for all of the things here it's a really good price here and it seems like good quality food at the same time we need to try it all out 
Well, spicy. Yeah? Well, I think because I haven't been eating like crazy spiced food, it's really... Yeah, so you really notice it, so yeah. other people necessarily won't. And I think they're really good size portion mm -hmm. as well, like for these Burmese salads. Yeah, definitely. So really, really good value for money. So yeah, I'm going to try the Burmese, see what it's like as well. And it comes with black rice, which is more healthy for you than white rice. Mm. Oh wow, I really like the rice. Wow. Yeah, the rice. So good. The rice tastes really, really good. Really good, actually. She just mentioned that. And yeah, it is quite wow. spicy. Good amount of peanuts in there. Really flavorful. It didn't seem too oily. It didn't seem too salty either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really tastes a great carrot in there. Yeah, that's like 10 out of 10. Yeah, for me. and then if I move on to the burrito. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, you can't get this gluten free in case anyone is interested. What's inside? had a noisy truck go past so that's why we just cut it. Yeah, the tortilla, the tortilla is really soft. Definitely a lot more salty than that but I don't mind it, it might be too salty for her, we see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> she hasn't really been eating salt recently. Um, but the lentils inside, the lentils on it taste really really good to me, really flavourful. Mm. Wow, well, yeah. For me, a little borderline too much salt. Yeah, it just reminds me of sort of general Indian lentils. Like they're normally very quite yeah. salty. So mm, I like the inside though a lot. Mm. With the veggies and rice, it looks like. Yeah, it's full of like bell peppers and onions and um, all types of vegetables. Very unique burrito. I haven't had any in Chiang Mai that are like this like at all. Mm. Um, then if we move on to this. See that sort of what it looks like. It's very look like a pad thai. Mm. I like those flavours. Mm. Sweet and tangy. It would probably be good at that one. That actually tastes way salty to me than that. Really? Mm. Yeah. Hmm. This tastes more. Oh wait, now I can taste it. it. Took a while to settle in. Peanutty flavor. There's a lot of these uh, type of beans in there. Bean sprouts. I actually thought it was going to be something different to this. So if I knew it would have been this, I wouldn't have got it because it's not a type of thing that I'm into. So I don't really rate that much. But if you're into this type of dish and you like it, but. Yeah, that doesn't get a good rating. Burmese gets about an 8 out of 10, 10 being the best. That is like a 9 out of 10 for me. Yeah, that's like... What would you rate them? Um, the Burmese, like 9 out of 10. Mm -hmm. And then the burrito, just because it's a bit too salty, like 8 yeah. or 7.5. Yeah. At least there's a lot of plain rice in the burrito yeah, that like balances the saltiness out. One tip for you. When we came and sat here, we sat right at the back against the wall. We were getting bitten by a mosquito like crazy. So we moved to where we are now, and the table's all down the left hand side. We've been sitting here quite a while and haven't been bit by mosquitoes whatsoever. So that's just a tip in case, yeah, you don't want to get bitten by mosquitoes. But I have been here once before. If you come here a lot later when it's darker, yeah, add to anywhere that's quite open. A restaurant for example and it's later at night you're gonna get bitten by mosquitoes mm. this is how it goes and yeah the staff really understood our needs for the vegan food didn't have to wait too long very friendly I really like the location do you mm -hmm. yeah so yeah I give this quite a good review and it's quite quiet even though there's a name 
Street right there? Yeah, yeah, it's not too far on. And we may order some other things, desserts, that we shall see. But if not, we're in the video here. Don't forget to check out Janessa's YouTube channel, which I'll put a link down below for. Any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like this video and share with others and subscribe. And if you'd like me to make any other review videos on places to eat out as a vegan in Chiang Mai, Thailand, let me know because I have so many amazing places to eat out and I'm trying out a lot of new restaurants that I haven't before since being in Thailand for almost four years. So yeah, as always, stay fit, stay energetic and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace. Bye.